In this video, I will be discussing the hold queue and its different applications. The hold queue is a function that allows the provider to enter orders from their office or other location when the patient does not have a visit number. The two applications for the hold queue would be a direct admission or outpatient testing. When you come to the MetaTech screen, you will search for your patient. You will look for their name and birth date and for a medical record number. Their name has to be associated with the medical record number in order for you to use the hold queue. If they do not have a medical record number, you will need to contact registration to enter that in order for you to enter the hold queue. So when we click on this, it brings up another screen and we don't want to associate with these B numbers. So we're going to cancel and we're going to go to orders and it will now bring up the hold queue option in the right hand corner. So we'll click on the hold queue and it takes us to this screen where we will add a new event. There are lots of options to choose from. So if you're direct admitting your patient, if you're OB, those are available. And then there's also the outpatient imaging and labs. You can combine these. So if you wanted to put outpatient labs and then also add the imaging onto that same hold queue, you can do that. We're gonna choose surgical daycare because I want to show you how to do both of those. The facility is always going to be Goshen Health. And then the event date, we're going to choose when the surgery is going to be. So we're going to say that it is two weeks from now. At the top now, you will see two new tabs. You have the add new and the add new ambulatory. The difference between the two is where the orders go when they are received. The add new ambulatory will be received at registration. So that is when you are ordering lab work or imaging that you want done as an outpatient. So at ambulatory, obviously. The add new would be your inpatients uh, when you're going to actually admit them to the hospital. So we're gonna start with the new ambulatory and we're going to order uh, what would be pre-admission screening, the CBC and a BMP. When you click on this, you will see that there are next required fields. There are two. We do have to put in a diagnosis code and the time frame when we want the patient to actually arrive. We're going to say that it's a thyroid issue and that we actually want them to do this tomorrow so that their labs come back in a timely manner before the surgery. You do have to do this for both of these. Is tomorrow. Then we're going to add the actual admission orders from for the day of surgery. On your screen, when you click add new or add ambulatory, your favorites will show up here. So if you have anything saved to your favorites, you will be able to see it on this screen. We're going to choose thyroid surgery. We're going to enter whatever orders we would need on the day of admission. So we are going to submit these, enter our PIN, and you will note that there are two different sections. We have an ambulatory, which is your outpatient labs that registration will see, and then you have your inpatient orders. You can order on the inpatient orders your antibiotic that you want given when the patient first comes in for surgery or any other such items. So registration will see the top ones and nursing will see the bottom ones. To note, if you enter any hold queue order, it will drop off three months 
after it has after the date that it has been ordered for. So if you order a CT scan for six months from today, the order will actually fall out of the hold queue at nine months. So it, it goes from the day that it's actually ordered for, then three months after that, if the patient has not arrived to do that CT scan, it will fall off the hold queue. And that is how you use the hold queue. If you have op any questions, please feel free to call extension 3000 and we can walk you through that. And I hope you have a marvelous day.